Yo, what's going on guys? Mike the Outsider back in another video. Today, we are playing some more Man 22. And today, I have gone ahead, gone ahead and have created hefty lefty Jared Lenson himself. And we're gonna jump in both into a regular franchise game and then also sim the rest of the season with the current Giants roster that we're somehow in the playoffs. And, uh, yeah, uh, I'll meet you in uh, week one. So now I've franchise loaded up, and here are Jared's stats. And he's looking very uh, heavy, we'll say. And uh, yeah, he, he's not the best. But, you know, um, he, he's 41 as a rookie. But, um, but before we go any farther... We, I, I shall say R.I.P. Jared Lorenzen. He passed away a couple years ago um, due to heart and kidney failure or something like that. Don't know the full story, but yeah. Very unfortunate. Very loved by uh, the community of football that actually remembers him. And, uh, now that we got that somber note out of the way, let, let's get into week one. Alright, so. First play of the game. Let's see what we got. Look at our boy. Six foot four, 400 pounds. Looking like an offensive lineman out there under center. <laughs> see what you got, hefty lefty. Isaiah Hodgins, you suck. But, not a terrible pass. I was expecting a lot worse. So, that's a plus. There we go. Get out to Colin Johnson. Should we try the read option with them? Let's go. Please don't read the QB. That's all I ask. They did, and I still went for it anyway. He's so slow, bro. Uh, he's so slow. Well, let's see his medium to deep. Oh, overthrown straight to Kevin Byard. Not a very first drive, I will admit. We can bounce back. I think. Oh my god, that barely was on target. <laughs> Alright, come on, Jared. I'm slightly underthrown, possibly. Maybe we should let him up the field more. I don't care. Alright. Let, let's try switch and just chuck it up deep to Darius Slayton. Honestly, that, that was kind of there. Oh yeah, look at, look at thick. Look, look at thick boy Jared Lorenzo, bro. We'll go Hodgins. Oh. Hey no. That was a pretty good pass. That was a pretty good catch and run. Oh, trying to get out the what the f was that? That was confusing. I don't even know what happened there. <laughs> oh, Slayton's there. Oh. Kevin Bayard is also there. Cool. It's fine. We can bounce back. Jared's a bit shaky. He hasn't played QB in a few years. Alright. Well, 
Kevin Bayard has three interceptions. I've thrown three interceptions. That ain't good, Chief. <laughs> that ain't good at all. Also, that should have been picked. Four for ten and 108 yards. All right, Jared. Putting together a drive here. How do you make a play on that? How, how do you just know the ball is there? To where you can just... I don't understand. Kevin Byer just... Four interceptions on me. I'm glad I'm doing this for fun and not... No, and he's fumbled. Jared got killed. Oh, we're down 31-7. Fitting, because Kevin Byard wears 31. Good job, Darius. Wait, we can come back maybe, right? Nope. Kevin Byard, fifth pick of the game. You know... You, you guys don't need to watch through the rest of this. Eh. You know what? One more drive. We have negative two rushing yards. That, that was our lone rush for Jared. Come on. A defensive lineman tried to get to you. <laughs> Good job, Jared. Redeemed yourself, buddy. You look so weird running with the ball, though. Also, maybe since he's left-handed, the reason why he's so bad when we throw it to the right is because the ball takes longer to get there than if we threw it to the left. So we're going to test that here by throwing it up to Richie James Jr. Who can't come down with the ball because his hands are smaller than the ball are. I don't know. Come on, Saquon. Tough. Right, now let's do PA boot slide. Just do it right at the linebacker there. He didn't even want the ball. He's like, you know what, man? I feel sorry for you for throwing like 12 picks this game. And should have been seven. Th this game's done. I'll, I'll, I'll meet you back at the uh, menu. So now that we're here at the end of that brutal, brutal game where we scored one extra touchdown, it's now time to advance to the playoffs to see if Jared Lorenzen can lead us to a playoff game and possibly even a playoff victory. Now, I don't think it's going to happen, but, you know, anything is possible. So... Let's just hope that somehow, some way, he just doesn't go winless as a 60 overall. Because the Giants, you know, if the Giants can win with Daniel Jones, they could probably win with Der Jared Lorenzen. They're pretty much the same player. Both are very bad throwing deep. Both are low average quarterbacks at best. Uh, both struggled, in, to say the least, in the league. Um, obviously, one struggled more than the other, but that that's a different discussion for a different day. So, uh, yeah. So, um, we didn't make the playoffs. We ended up going 5-12, and 12, so definitely not ideal, but... 
and it could have been worse. We could have gone winless. Now let's check out the stats of the year. 4,200 yards, 20 touchdowns, 17 picks. Remember, five, I, I think I ended up throwing six in that game in total. So, 22 and 11, not a bad rating when you take me out of it. 252 yards per game, not bad. Uh, what about your rushing yards? Hey, he had 100 rushing yards through the year, not bad. And a fumble. Not great. Did, did he win... Like, rookie of the year or something? I doubt it. Oh, it doesn't hurt an MVP, so... <clears throat> yeah, not offensive player of the year. Huh? 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 What? <laughs> this game makes no sense. What, what did Christian wants to do to, one, not win Offensive Player of the Year neither, but two, win Rookie of the Year. And then we'll, we'll also check out. So, Ritter, 46 to 17. Not bad, especially for Rookie. And Darius Slate, 1,300 yards, by the way. But, um... Christian Watson. I mean, I guess that. I don't know. I, I'd probably take the corner. Do so. So. Let me go back to this and look at the receiver. Since I forgot to do that. Not bad. 2,000 yard receivers. And then everyone else just kind of existed on the team. Ah, Kenny Galladay. Doing what he does best. Seal away from the Giants. Not do a damn thing with it. And just for fun, let's uh, go ahead and click and simulate the Super Bowl. Just for uh, shits and gigs, pretty much. And uh, see who won. Because, yeah. Oh, the Cowboys beating the Browns. It's, uh, Corner man this year. Well, let's hope that never happens anytime soon. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, hit that notification bell to get notified of when I upload. My name was Mike the Outsider, saying peace out, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.